So, first of all, hello. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, mixed emotions going on with the news and the market uh, taking a dip. Um, and I, I just want to just uh, talk about, you know, what, what, what next? What, what's going on? And also, let's, let's, let's just don't let's never forget the bigger picture. Of what's going on? Recent news with you know all the BS floating around and um, all that weird stuff happening with Craig Wright and that fake Toshi and all that crap out there going on, confusing people. Um, Personally, I, I, I'm not a big fan of TA right now in this crypto space. I don't want to draw you guys triangles and lines and telling you that there's going to be a breakout here or there. Because ultimately right now, since this market space is very small still, the hard cap, the uh, market cap of, what, $270 billion right now in this space <clears throat> is, is uh, just a drop in the bucket. So um, a lot can change and... Frankly, when you see when you see technical analysis and you see what people think, it's uh, or what they believe in, uh, it's always going to be a moment of like, oh, it didn't happen that way, so let's figure out this way, and oh, it dips, so and I said it was going to go up, that's because of the chance, and I get it, I get what people are trying to say, I, I get you're trying to say you're trying to like, you know, uh, uh, calculate your your. Your risk ratio and all that crap but those who are still trying to understand the space and understand finance and everything this is the volatility does not match well with history it does not match well with um, the technical analysis because those are those are part those are designed for a balanced market a very uh, stabilized and regulated market this is a this is an unstable market. It's unregulated. You know, there's a lot of regulations coming in and out. Nobody knows what to charge you. Nobody knows what it's, how to approach it. Everyone doesn't... Some people don't trust it. Some institutions are joining it. Like, it's not straight yet. So, stay true to what you believe in this space. Um, don't doubt yourself right now with any of... Even the altcoins. Because um, remember, all the altcoins are pegged to the... To Bitcoin, so if Bitcoin rises, everything else will rise. I think one of the things I do want to point out when you look at your charts is that you see Bitcoin's behavior of dipping and rising. If you review the other alts, they're doing almost they're doing the same movement, which shows how power how strong Bitcoin is. Uh, could be also manipulation. Could be a, a trading bot spreading millions of dollars across the whole entire space so that's that's my take on it all like uh i don't want people to waste their time and trying to analyze this right now start analyzing the news start analyzing um you know people with money and what they say and and uh what they do and my, my favorite one what people used to do is do the opposite of what cnn money do you know they're going to tell you to buy 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 but sell because apparently when they say buy there's a dip and when there's a, when they say sell there's <laughs> there's a rise so it's just funny things like that and people talking about how they hate it and now they're joining it and all that good stuff and uh, just just keep keep believing in what you have in your hands and don't let the darn uh, media confuse you guys out there because don't believe it don't believe all the cards don't even believe me <laughs> believe in your coins believe believe whatever you're researching uh, know that this space is revolutionary and uh, it's going to change the world it's going to change a lot it's already changing some parts already I mean powerful people are saying things about it now and, and the best part about it the reason why my theory why a lot of people are trying to get into it now is because those who did join it, they're showing off how much money they made out of it. So they're getting everyone kind of interested now. That's what I think inside. But 
Um, yeah, that's that's my cake take on it. Um, another thing's out there. Uh, Yep. Um, another thing is the altcoins. A lot of people are still trying to determine if it's even altcoin season or not, uh, or whatever it may be. Uh, obviously, try to make sure you do some research on there too, because you know it might not be the same. It might it may not be the same kind of altcoin season run, but. That doesn't mean that the promising altcoins out there are going to fail. So that's the one thing I want to point out. The promising altcoins look very promising. So um, that's pretty much my take on it all. And I just want to express to everyone that all this darn uh, technical analysis and triangles and lines and triangles and everything, you know, don't bother looking at it because... There's someone out there with like millions and billions of dollars that's gonna see that everyone look at one way and they're gonna just do the opposite.